Yo everybody, my name is JCW and welcome to my 3 tick gem mining guide. Using tick manipulation for gem mining can net up to 120k an hour XP or 1.3 mil GP. It is also the fastest way to get a mining pet and a very comparable method to granite, especially before 99. So anyways, let's jump into it. The requirements are Karamja Hard Diary, a gem and looting bag, a charged amulet of glory, and Stamina's or a POH Teleport. Here's my gear setup. It's not needed, but the Prospector outfit gives a 2.5% mining XP bonus, and the Celestial Ring gives an invisible plus 4 mining boost, both slightly increasing your XP per hour. Be sure that your glory is charged, because that's how you increase the success rate of gem mining. And most importantly, bring an adamant pickaxe. I will explain why this is the best one later on in the video. For the inventory, bring a knife and a teak log for tick manipulation. Leave the gem bag open in your inventory, that way the gems go directly into it. Bring staminas, or if you don't have them, you can use a POH teleport, which I'll explain later on as well. Finally, make sure you have proper runelight plugins. Here's a screenshot of every plugin that I use on the screen. Not all of these are necessary, but each plugin only makes this method easier. You can use the paste bin on the screen or from the description below to copy the ground markers to import. Be sure to pause the video here, and then once you're set up, resume, and let's finally jump into the method. The first step to all of this is to make sure that your bank is full and every item in your inventory does not have a placeholder in your bank. In order to do this, simply take out our leftover logs in the bank, release the placeholder, and grab the looting bag. If you are in Ferox Enclave, you should be able to store the remaining teak logs in the looting bag. Then you just simply put the looting bag back in your bank, and when you're done, you can empty it so you don't have to drop your items. Make sure the rest of your inventory does not have placeholders in the bank. If you have a stack of any items and you're an Iron Man who doesn't want to drop them, just put them in the looting bag like we did with the logs. Same as we want, so we're going to withdraw 3 unnoted, and then note the rest, and release the placeholder. After that, you can fill the bank with placeholders, and to make sure you did it right, you're going to want to click the deposit inventory, nothing should move, and it should say in your chat box that the bank cannot hold more items. Once this is all set up, go to your armor, and teleport to the gem mine with Karamja Gloves 3 or 4 depending on which diary you have. Import the ground markers from that paste bin earlier by copying all of the text, right clicking world map, and import ground markers. Uncut jades don't have that much value, so once you get one, you can shift click and right click it to swap the left click to drop. I'd also recommend adding an inventory tag since they look very similar to opals, which we are going to want to bank. We're going to want to do a lap all around the tile markers, so first, let's make sure that we know how to mine in 3 ticks. For the sake of learning and easier visuals, I turned on the plugin Visual Ticks and set the tick counter to 3. This will physically count my ticks on the bottom of the screen. To 3 tick mine correctly, be sure that you pre-click either the knife or the log. Look at the tick counter on the bottom. You start the 3 tick action, plus click the rock one step away in the same tick. Tick number 2, your character will start knife logging, plus move at the same time. Tick 3, you'll get your rock and it will reset. To make sure that you clicked fast enough, be sure that your character animation looks the same as on the right. The player on the left is clicking with their feet. You do not want that. Now, try to apply the knife log animation, and while moving, be sure to pre-click the knife or log as you're going. That way, the second you get the XP drop, you can start your next 3 tick cycle immediately. You should be able to get multiple in a row now. Now, it's time for the hardest part of gem mining. Sometimes, the rocks are more than 2 squares away, so you can't immediately start a 3 tick action. When this happens, you click the far rock that you're supposed to go to next, and once the black tile, or your true tile, goes over the ground marker, you're going to start your knife log animation and continue like normal. Next, let's talk about the numbers on the rocks. If you copied my plugins in the beginning of the video, as you 3 tick and run towards the rock with the number, hit the number on your keyboard and your camera will move accordingly. 
This puts me in an easy position to mine the next rock without having to move my cursor or camera. I will show you guys a full lap at the end of the video so you know what order to go in. However, every lap you're going to be banking. Let's talk about that. There's a bank deposit chest here. Feel free to shift right click the gem bag to make the left click option empty. Maybe add some screen markers as well. When at this part of the lap, click the deposit box and deposit your entire inventory, then continue about. The gem bag holds 60 of every gem, sapphire and above. This takes about 30 minutes to fill up. So while it's not full, you only need to deposit your inventory. When it is full, the sapphires will go to your inventory. When banking, click both the gem bag and deposit inventory to empty it. Let's talk about restoring run energy. You lose about 10 energy per lap. If you're a main account, just simply drink staminas accordingly. However, if you're an Iron Man who doesn't want to waste your staminas here, that's fine. It's pretty simple to restore run energy. When you go to bank, teleport to your POH. If you have at least 70 construction, you can build a stamina pool. Restore your run energy inside your POH and then teleport back to the mine. When a main account needs to bank for more staminas, go to the closest bank. Make sure that your inventory is full, and because we removed the stamina 4 doses from our bank earlier, drop the top 3 items and then use the noted staminas on the bank. Then you can deposit your inventory and continue mining. Finally, let's talk about the Adamant Pickaxe and why it's the best one for tick manipulation mining. Better tier pickaxes do not give a higher success rate, but rather they roll a chance to mine faster. Rune and Dragon pickaxes roll a chance to succeed at a base of every 3 ticks, the same speed as your knife log animation. The Adamant on the other hand rolls every 4 ticks. Since Rune is the same speed as a 3 tick animation, if you were to accidentally mess up, your cycle will never be fixed until you manually stop for 1 tick to fix it. Since the Adamant pickaxe is an extra tick, it will fix itself. Last but not least, your inventory will sometimes fill up before you hit the bank deposit. When this happens, prioritize dropping the jades as they are the cheapest. It's a very minimal amount of dropping, but when it is time to drop, simply start your 3 tick cycle, click the next tile, and then drop ASAP. Then re-click the rock. This can be hard when starting out, but worst case, just simply drop when your inventory is full because you don't need to drop that often. Just be sure to hit the deposit every lap and you'll likely be fine. That's everything, and now it's finally time to combine everything we've learned into some gameplay. Just follow the path that I do for the rest of the video. I made this guide because it was highly requested, and I hope you guys find it useful. If there's another guide you think might be really helpful, let me know down below. If I've done it and feel comfortable with my knowledge, I'll consider making it. Best of luck mining everybody, and peace out.